Hey guys, I am so excited for today's video. I hope you guys are as well. Make sure to show me love, give me that thumbs up, and let's get right to it, you guys. So I am redoing my entryway. I love getting my hands dirty. I love home projects. It is one of my favorite things in the world to do. So of course, we are gonna start off by taking everything off the wall and we are gonna start patching up some of these holes um, and getting ready for our new look. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Please let me know what you guys think. And I did this 100% all by myself. So you ladies can totally do this too. Jump into the car. to be yours So I'm sure you guys have seen the before and after and can tell that I am creating a board and batten wall. I am going to go ahead and list all of the materials down below. But if you want to do it the very um, efficient and inexpensive way, um, you want to do lattice boards and that is what this is. And of course I'm going to measure, make sure everything is level. I pulled mine up high because I knew I was going to add hooks and I have a pretty tall ceiling so I knew it would look really nice on this side of the wall. With a little bit of patience and a few tools, you can seriously create the most beautiful things. You just have to want it, you have to envision it, create those vision boards, and get her done, you guys. And there are inexpensive ways to do things. I didn't go for the expensive real wood. I went for the lattice boards that are truly cheap and inexpensive. And I knew it was something that I could do on my own without the help of anyone else. My husband works two jobs, and the last thing I need to do is bug him for help on something I can create myself. Now, if you don't have your own miter saw like mine, you could honestly just use a regular hand saw and then just um, sand off the edges to make them nice and soft. Um, the miter saw is just something that I have had because, I, as I mentioned, I love to create home projects and to me it's something that I would highly recommend. It makes it quick, easy, and oh my gosh, you guys, this project went, I did it in a weekend. And it only took a weekend because I had other plans to do throughout the day or else it would have probably been done in one day if I really put four. So lucky to be yours.
So as you guys can see, measuring and making sure everything is level is key. And I did not remove any baseboards. I did not remove, you know, obviously the vent. I worked around everything. And as long as everything is cohesive, as long as you are making sure you're putting everything into studs, really, you guys, this was just as easy as could possibly be. So I started off with the end pieces and then I went with the middle piece because I knew that as long as I had those, the rest would be super simple. And you're just cutting it based on the size that you need for the specific area. So of course, as mentioned, because there is a uh, vent there, some pieces were smaller than the other pieces, so you're not going to all cut them the same. And then I am using liquid nails before I actually go ahead and nail them to the wall. I had mentioned earlier that I learned a lesson that I wanted to share with you guys, and that is on my two... Um, middle pieces I guess not the one right smack in the middle um, but the one in the two inside pieces that's the best way to describe it I ended up using tiny nails instead of my nail gun and that is because I didn't have actual um, studs there and I regretted that because those were impossible to hide so you can see the bumps if you're up close but you really have to look for them and you can't see that when you use the nail gun because it goes deep into the lattice board I don't know that that would be the case if you're using real wood but I wanted to make sure to point that out um, and I did that because I figured a small nail isn't going to hurt anything like any wiring that might be behind this wall or just in general you know but I just didn't really think about it um, lesson learned but I wanted to bring that up in case you guys decide to do this project on your own all right, you guys, so believe it or not, that is the hardest part of this project. It is super easy, and anybody can do this, you guys. You just need to get your measurements right, make sure everything is level, and that's it, you guys. Um, the rest is easy peasy. I tell you, you can do this so easily. Anybody can. Now, this is a wooden dowel, a square wooden dowel to be exact. The process is exactly the same, you guys. You're gonna go ahead and measure it, cut it, then we are gonna go ahead and add it to the wall with some liquid nails, and then we're gonna go ahead and use our nail gun to add it permanently to the wall. Now, I took down my shelf because I wasn't looking to add anything to the wall. I want it to look spacious and big and just airy, um, but if you want to have you know artwork or anything like that or you know whatever you want um, to lean on this you can do something a little bit bigger a lot of people add like a, a top shelf I wasn't going for that look so this was a perfect fit for me it was so funny because initially I thought I wanted to do a ship lap wall but I am so glad I went with this you guys because it was way way more inexpensive than I would have spent on a ship lap wall and I actually like it so much more. So as you can see here, we're gonna go ahead and cover up the holes of the nails. I'm gonna let all of this dry and then we're gonna come back, sand it down, and then we're gonna do some caulking and then starts the fun process in my book anyway, which is painting and seeing it all come together. Okay, you guys, we have finally made it to my favorite part. I have gone ahead and sanded the part of the wall that I have fixed, and now I am gonna go ahead and cover with paint just that little section. We are gonna keep the top portion the same. I am just going to paint it. It's re, um, repose gray. I'll go ahead and list it down below, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called by Sherman Williams. My entire house, as you can see, is painted in that color. I love the color and I wasn't about to change it. I want it to be all just cohesive, as I mentioned earlier today, and just have it all blend into what I already have going on. And um, the bottom portion, because I want it to look big and airy, we're going to go with just a basic white. So I love, love, love it. This is super easy. 
Now, my walls are somewhat new. My house isn't even quite five years old yet. We built it. Um, and so, you know, if you could get away with just doing little touch-ups like this, go ahead and do that. But if not, you may have to paint that whole section of the wall. Now, because I've done a lot of projects, I knew that in my case, I wanted to do some primer underneath um, to start off with just because that repose gray has been there for almost five years as mentioned and because it is not necessarily dark but I am putting white and I didn't want to have to do like five layers of white um, even though I got some premium paint um, the point of the matter is I went ahead and did one layer of primer and we're going to start off with the brush just to get into every nook and cranny. Um, I have already um, gone through the caulking process. I've already sanded all of the, you know, holes of the of the nails um, and whatnot. So this is where we're going to start off with. And of course, you can see I've taped off the bottom. And yet, like I said, uh, this is the fun part where you kind of get to see it all come together. Alright guys, so after the primer dries, I am going in now with the actual paint. I know it's hard to distinguish because the primer is obviously like a white color. And now I'm going to go in with the actual color. And I am just, I've trimmed off so I don't get it on the gray. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. I'm not going to bore you with having me watch every single step because it's literally the exact same thing. Um, but you see it now, you see it coming together. Um, the board and batten is literally taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but everything pretty much is in my life. Anyway, I love it, you guys. It's already looking so absolutely fantabulous. Please let me know what you guys think. I mean, we have the fun stuff still, putting up the hooks and decorating and all that jazz. And ta-da, with the magic of video, 
Um, it is all finished and now we are just going to pull off the tape. I think this part is so satisfactory. I love it. Um, satisfying. I don't know, you guys, I can't talk ever. <laughs> but I absolutely love this. I love seeing it come together. Uh, peeling off the tape is one of my favorite parts because I'm a total dork like that. I realize it seems like a lot of steps, you guys, but it really isn't bad at all. This is so simple, and I hope if you guys have been tempted to do something in your home somewhat similar, that you guys do take the opportunity to do it. I promise you, it is so easy. It's really inexpensive, you guys. And if you already have paint, you don't even have to, you know, put that into account as far as what you're spending. Um, if you don't have the paint, then of course you're going to have to, um, you know, budget for that as well. But you guys, I just think it is the neatest thing. Now these hooks I got on Amazon, I'm going to go ahead and list them down below as well. Are these not so cute? I ended up going with black hooks because I wanted to make sure that, you know, it really popped against the white. So I just went in and grabbed my little nails and I made little holes so I knew exactly where I needed to go ahead and pre-drill the holes so that we could go ahead and start attaching our hooks. So fast forwarding to the fun stuff, now we're going to go ahead and get our hooks attached and oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. I can't help it. I really do. And there you have it you guys my board and batten wall is 100% complete I love it so so much I can't even tell you guys how much I love it I, I really can I think you guys can tell by my uh, constant cheering of myself now I did go to um, at home and I got this frame for 50% off it ended up being $15 and I was going for a black and white as you can probably tell and it goes with my rug that you guys will see here at the finale um, but you could use command strips or in my case I used a little screw just because I knew I was gonna leave this long term and it was gonna be up there for quite some time um, plus I didn't have any command strips on hand but you guys ah, I can't wait um, to continue using this for many many years to come I absolutely love it so so much as you can see I am just putting everything back um, those beads are actually from Dollar Tree you guys it had this ugly rainbow thing at the end not that rainbows were ugly it just wasn't my thing it was very kitty-ish um, and I just took it off and I added some uh, lamb's ear because it was more my aesthetic and then here I'm just kind of playing around to see if I like the bench centered in the middle I wasn't quite feeling it but I'm just kind of thinking things through putting my rug down and like I said the rug really goes with that artwork that I purchased and I've already had black in my entryway um, this is just something that just you know brings it together and as you can see I ended up pushing the bench all the way to the wall as I had it before and then I have had this vase for quite some time and I didn't really like it on this side just because I felt like it was so tall and it just looked awkward over here um, so I just kind of play with things things don't always stay the way that I start off with so I ended up changing it I took the beads and I put it on my vase. Don't worry, you guys, I'll be doing close-ups here in a sec. Um, here you go. And then I ended up switching it. So this smaller plant over here looked perfect. And then the taller plant on the entryway looked even better. But because I had the other plant on this side, I ended up switching the lamp and the plant from the entryway table. And honestly, I should have done that from the beginning anyway, since the outlook or out gosh you guys is on this side uh, outlet um, it ended up 
looking better anyway but here is the final look you guys i love it so so much um as i've already said ten thousand times in this video so these DIY projects at home are ones that you can definitely take on yourself and I really hope you do take the opportunity to do it and I would really appreciate some feedback. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what your you know, favorite part is. Um, I didn't change the entryway table because quite honestly I didn't think it needed to change. I love it. Um, that little gnome is my one and only Valentine's um, decor piece that I have and I'm actually taking some pictures without it to show you guys um, what it would look like on a daily basis. Um, and everything is just so welcoming in my opinion, so warm and I just absolutely love it. Here are the beads I was telling you guys about. I literally just um, changed it up a little bit. But thank you so, so much for tuning in today, you guys. I really appreciate all of your love and support. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you so, so much for watching, you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.